a small rural town close to Cambridge and Boston. This small community is filled with big houses and large lots. The houses are not close to each other and it's a lot of um, agricultural land, lots of farms. There are about seven to 8,000 people living in Lincoln. And here I am in the Lincoln Center, which is just the commuter rail station and a couple of stores, that's it. My name is Dune, I'm a real estate agent in Massachusetts and I've been helping a lot of people relocate to Massachusetts. Please do not hesitate to contact me. All my contact information is in the description below. If you're new here, my channel is all about Boston and the suburbs and real estate. So if it's something that interests you, consider subscribing. Lincoln is about 12 miles from Boston. It is very convenient because there's a commuter rail uh, I can hear the train right now and it takes you to Boston's North Station. There are also a couple of large highways like Route 2 and 128-95 that will take you everywhere. So the location of Lincoln is pretty convenient. Neighboring towns to Lincoln are Sudbury, Weston, Concord, Lexington, Waltham. Lincoln schools are going through major renovations and it's going to be a fabulous, fabulous, technically advanced school. Lincoln has one school that is K to grade 8. After that, children go to Lincoln Sudbury High School, which is highly ranked by the U.S. News High School rankings. Graduation rate is 98%. Besides the public schools, there is also Hanscom Public Schools, which are located in the Hanscom Field Airfield area, which is for Hanscom families. Both Hanscom Field and Lincoln Town have a preschool. Those are located in separate sections of the two schools. The Minutemen National Historic Park is open daily from sunrise to sunset. The Battle Trail is nice for a walk or for biking. The Cordova is an indoor and outdoor museum and sculpture park. You can just stroll around. It's free to enter the park and just um, enjoying the nature and also the man-made beauty. You don't have many options when it comes to food shopping. Donnellan Supermarket is in the center. I'm here at the Codman Community Farms where you can get eggs and fruits and vegetables and there is always meat in the freezer so it's a wonderful place to do your shopping there's also a gift store in the center for more shopping options you need to travel outside of lincoln to concord or waltham but those towns are not very far so it's not a big deal in the track room the menu is upscale pop fair you have to try the cornbread cupcake that comes with mashed potato frosting fried chicken and gravy. They have a fully stocked bar with beers from around New England. There is also the Twisted Tree Cafe, but otherwise, if you want more selection, you need to travel away from Lincoln. One of the pros of living in Lincoln is that the town is less congested than the neighboring towns. Houses are far from each other. There is free parking at the commuter rail station. Everybody knows each other, and many are involved in the very democratic and progressive town government. Even though Lincoln is pretty rural, it is relatively close to Boston. It will only take you 30 minutes to drive to downtown Boston without traffic. The things that you might not like. Homes in Lincoln have private sewer. That means there is no central sewer system in Lincoln. You have a septic tank. Lincoln does not offer curbside trash collection. You have to take your trash to the transfer station where residents can also leave things like bikes they no longer use that somebody else can take. You can also hire a private trash collection company. Many towns in Massachusetts have that. Another con is there are many playgrounds for kids and most are close to the town center. If you live on the path of Hanscom Air Base planes, you will hear them once in a while. And now about housing. Median sale price for single family is $1,475,000. There are mostly single family houses, condominiums in townhouse style, and no big apartment buildings. You can also buy land here to build a house. If you're interested to buy or sell in Lincoln, please reach out to me. I would love to talk to you. 
and also watch my videos about Arlington and Lexington which are close to Lincoln.